one of the main reasons we came here actually was to grow food for ourselves and our family and, and have a good environment because you couldn't buy good food really. We're going to and these days, industrial food's far worse than it was then. I mean, this is, this is a forest country. It's a fantastic place for trees. I mean, none of these trees you can see around here were here 25 years ago. And do you try to plant things that are native to New Zealand as much as possible? And, and how do you think about bringing in more species? Yeah, well, that's a huge question, New Zealand. New Zealand's probably the most impacted by exotics of any country in the world because our native is so different. It's been, it's been separate. I mean, yeah. New Zealand's actually continent. It's continental material. And then everything you can imagine we brought in here. We had climatisation societies, so climatising European, American, Asian. So there's a huge lot of stuff going on in New Zealand at the moment in terms of evolution or something. I don't, I don't know, yeah. you know. Because the problem is that all these soils are degraded. I mean, the way we do agriculture now just degrades soils. Just like, they're going out of fashion. I mean, yeah. Soils are going out of fashion. Yeah, they disappear. <laughs> they it's outside of compost. How else were you controlling the microbe environment here? That's the fine in you know. But also the inoculations, you can get microbial inoculations of these days, like you can get them mixed with the minerals, which is just the feed for the microbes, and you just spray it on. Yeah. And we do a thing called compost teas, which is just a way of spreading compost microbes. You know? So there's different methods you can use, and you can pick it, pick a bit. You know, we learn from our mistakes. If everything's going sweet. It just rolls on, we don't even know what's going on, you know? As soon as something goes wrong, well, oops, all right, well, dear, what happened there, you know? <laughs> weeds, weeds, yeah. yeah. I mean, the best thing to do with weeds is mow them. I mean, if, if you've got a lot of, like, bare ground, nature will want to cover it or put in the weeds. Mm. If you want to regenerate it, those weeds are bringing up the nutrients for the cycle of regeneration. Yeah. And you just top it more quickly than nature might necessarily. Well, what would normally happen is the animals will come in and trample it. Yeah. So if you just cut it before it seeds, it'll grow, and then when you just keep cutting it, it'll do its job even faster. And so therefore, you're, you're just sort of speeding up what nature would do. It, and it's all, it is driven by the micro. Mm -hmm. And when you're putting stuff on, like you put bark and stuff on for forest conversion, or that's feeding more fungal. You put more grassy stuff on your compost if you're feeding the bacteria more for the grasslands. But again, you're feeding the microbes, that's what you're doing. It all goes back to the microbes. We try and do that permaculture design to sort of integrate these things because it's all about, you know, you've got all this wish list, oh, you want this, this and this, but how do they actually work? And how do they work on this particular site, or this, mm -hmm. you know, this place? So this design is specific to, to us and to the place we're at, you know. So a lot of other people can do something different here, still be a permaculture design, provided does it relate to the place we're on mm -hmm. and reflects that character and works in with it, so mm -hmm. working in with the natural environment. So that's what we're trying to do here.